who was your favorite TV doctor pre-Grey's Anatomy? Who did you really like? Probably George Clooney, you know. Clooney, Clooney, Clooney. I was trying to say something a little more original. Of course, George Clooney as well. As, I think uh, as a role model, he certainly ha has handled himself in a way that uh, we should all take a look at. Clooney, Clooney, yeah. He's a true uh, gentleman and uh, and like the quintessential, quintessential movie star. The way he walked around in his scrubs, he always like walked around like, you know, he had a purpose. He had somewhere he had to be and there's, you know, like, there's no, he wasn't self-conscious at all. He's just sort of like a, a doctor doing his job, just healing people. Living, loving, yeah. Zach Graff from Scrubs. What is it about him? Sense of humor. Sense of humor, sense of humor, sense of humor. I cannot say enough how important that is. It's really important. You let all the men understand beautiful woman telling you sense of humor. Oh, I think Alan Alder probably. What was it about? I, I just think he had a great sense of humor. Uh, and uh, he's, he's such an amazing man and what he's done after that show as well. I think he's a tremendous role model. I thought Quincy was cool. What was it about Quincy? That I was like following him, you know, him with his microscope and figuring out who did what and how they did it and just his character. He was a great character. I really bought him as a doctor. Donzo Gates. <laughs> Trapeton. He's cute. That great hair. I dug Marcus Welby. What was it about him? Well, he was, you know, he's just kind of homey guy, you know, and just real regular. And, uh, you know, I dug James Brolin's character on there, too, you know. And it was just, it was, you know, it was that time, you know, it was in the 60s and stuff. And it was just, it was just cool, kind of uncomplicated television.